I began this series in, I think, late 1997. And I'd heard an argument about the relationship between abstract art and the city. And the argument was essentially that abstract art had no part in city life. And I just didn't believe that. Initially, I just set out to find evidence and examples of abstract monochromes in the city streets. So the first photograph was one I made in, in King's Cross, which is where I lived at the time. And I found a white rectangle on a wall and I kind of photographed it. And then I found a couple more. And I thought if I could find maybe five or so, I could make my argument about the relationship between the city and abstract art. I think initially I wanted to just photograph monochromes in London. The more I traveled, uh, the more I, I noticed monochromes, obviously, in, in any urban environment. So increasingly, the, the, the project became about finding them wherever I went. I'm certain that photography is an art form in itself. I have no doubt about that. I don't think I really contribute to that art form particularly. These are the only photographs I take. They're always taken in the same way. It's a very, very simple photographic project. Um, I don't think they're great photographs. They're not, that's not what they're about. I think I've completed the work about a dozen times. When I had five, I thought it was complete. And then I saw you know, a sixth one. By the time I had 80, I realized I could make a slide projection of them. When I had 250 and we made a book, I thought, okay, that's it. And now I've got 500. It's given me the opportunity to present them as a, you know, a multi-screen installation and to separate out the landscape ones from the portrait ones. I would never, as it were, travel to a city simply to look for the monochromes. I'm, I'm always there for another reason. And I think you know, the very simple thing is you only find monochromes in the city. You only find flat planes of unmodulated color in a city environment. They don't occur in nature. And I think it's often assumed that abstract art is somehow about turning away and turning inwards or about the spirit or about the, the structure of art itself. But I think particularly the abstract art, which is more planar and linear, which is often called geometric abstract art, I think couldn't exist without the city and finds its home in the city. And the monochrome is in a way the most extreme form of that art. This is the first time I've shown this body of work alongside a, an exhibition of the history of abstract art. That body of work that begins with Malevich and Mondrian and continues through the post-war period, that is the subject of my work. So it's, uh, it's all, for me, a part of the same thing. I avoid the term minimalism because I think of it as belonging to a very particular bit of American art in the 60s. It is the most reduced form of abstract art. It's the point at which abstract art threatens to become not art at all. A point of uncertainty. Is it art or is it just a part of the everyday fabric of, of life? Is there a boundary between art and non-art? Or is it always negotiable? Is it always moving and a grey area? And I think that's an interesting place to be.